Everything is taken back to the very, very beginning. So Shaggy, we get to see a little boy meet uh, his, a homeless puppy and come together to form the most dynamic duo in animated history. And, uh, you know, we'd see the friends begin their, their journey in the mystery machine. I think that's a fantastic origin story. It's really fun. Um, as a Scoob fan, I'm excited to see it. Uh, I'm excited to share it with the world. I think that people are really going to like it. We need Scooby, you know. Scooby's a huge, such a good thing in this world. I play Fred. Fred is, um, Fred is the le sort of the leader of the group. He's full of, of uh, good intentions. Uh, they manifest themselves in all kinds of crazy ways, but... Um, I'd say if, if he's, he's got the van, Fred has the van, he's the master, he wants to solve the mystery, he keeps the guys together, he uplifts, he motivates, um, and kind of anchors the team. And, but it definitely he'd be lost without his, his friends, you know, Velma, Daphne, Shaggy, and Scooby. They're all very, very important. It's a good group of friends. One of the things that attracted me to this project uh, was Tony just because is the way he he cares for the material. Uh, he knows every reference that's ever been made, and he's been, clearly been following it throughout the years. So a lot of the things that I think are kind of ingrained in my memory or that mean a lot to me, when speaking about them, they mean so much more to him. And it's fun to pick and choose from what he knows, the various kind of colors and ins and outs of the characters that I've never even thought of before. If you're at all familiar with Scooby-Doo, if you've ever watched an episode, uh, if, especially if you're a fan, old or new, even if you've never seen it before, you're gonna come learn about this, this dynamic, this group of friends that really, really inspired a generation 